Treatment for low blood pressure and high pulse rate treatment will depend on your underlying cause, with most requiring their own unique form of therapy. For example, neurally mediated hypotension NMH, is often treated with a combination of blood pressure medication and increased salt and water intake. However, this will not cure the condition, but rather help you manage it. Treatment for NMH will require persistence, commitment, and willingness to try several other drug and therapy combinations to help control the problem. Drugs known for improving NMH include fludrocortisone, fluoronef, beta blockers, atenolol, disopyramide, norpace, fluoxetine, Prozac, sertraline, zoloft, ephedrine, pseudoephedrine, theophylline, methylphenidate, ritalin, and midodrine. If your condition is benign and not due to any serious underlying problem, the following changes to your lifestyle may provide some help with low blood pressure. Staying hydrated will help to ensure your body has enough blood volume for the heart to pump. It is a good idea to limit alcohol intake, as it can make you become dehydrated. Compression socks are a great tool for preventing pooling blood in the lower extremities. Take your time to get up from a lying position by going slow. This will help prevent your body from working harder against gravity to pump blood to your head. Consume the daily recommended amount of salt as it helps to maintain adequate blood pressure levels. However, it is important not to consume excessive amounts. Seek medical attention right away if your symptoms are causing you excessive grief and discomfort. Therapies employed to remedy cases of low blood pressure and high heart rate often do not cure the problem and should be managed with the guidance of an experienced physician. If you were to suddenly stop any prescribed treatment plans, symptoms may return or even worsen. It is important to recognize situations that may lead to symptom exacerbation and to avoid triggers. However, many of the conditions leading to low blood pressure and high pulse rate have not been extensively studied, with more research being required.